Welcome to my first kombucha video. Today I will be answering the question, what is kombucha? And just talking about your basic ingredients to get you started in brewing your own at home. It's very simple, it's very easy, it's cost effective, and I think you're gonna love it. So, kombucha is thousands of years old. It is a process of fermenting a caffeinated tea with sugar, and it becomes carbonated and it will smell like apple cider vinegar and the whole process is using a SCOBY to do that. Your SCOBY is your symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast and you can grow your own SCOBY just from raw kombucha tea and you don't need to buy a starter online, you don't need to deal with any of that, you can make your own from scratch and it's basically free. So that's what I did. And I would describe your SCOBY as a beautiful culture that is similar to a pancake made out of jellyfish. It's a living organism. It needs to breathe. It needs to be handled with gentle care. And I really come to respect mine. I have probably a two-year-old scoby in here. It has so many layers. Every month or so it forms a new one. And I have four or five batches of kombucha going at any given time. I like to stagger them, so I always have a batch ready to drink. You don't need to get into it that much. I'm getting ahead of myself, sorry. I'll go dial it down again. So kombucha is just a fermented tea full of probiotics. They go in your body. You should look into it online. I don't have time to get into all of the health benefits, but they're so numerous. I was drinking six bottles a week, shelling over $30, $40, running to the store at 9.55 p.m. screaming, don't close, I need my kombucha. I was utterly addicted to this stuff and it was no good. I said, this needs to stop. No more spending money, look into brewing it yourself. I did. It is so amazingly simple. You can do this at home for a cost, like I would say $5 startup cost and you're doing your own. It's maybe a dollar or two per gallon to make this stuff. So, <laughs> there's so much to get into. It's a little bit overwhelming, but it won't be. You're gonna do great at it. You just need to know that your kombucha needs to be in a nice out of the way place where it won't be disturbed often and you're just going to secure a washcloth or a dish towel or a paper towel over this and that's going to keep out fruit flies it's going to keep out airborne pathogens mold pollen smoke from your kitchen pet dander all of that stuff shouldn't mix with your scoby all it wants to grow is white sugar and pure tea that has caffeine in it and you're not gonna wanna get fancy and try to use honey or agave or maple syrup. It really needs the complex carbohydrate of sugar. You can use raw turbinado, organic is great, but don't try to mix it up. Your SCOBY wants basics and it needs 100% green, black, or white tea. I prefer using green tea usually. And it takes about two weeks, maybe seven days to two weeks to ferment. Growing your initial SCOBY will take about three weeks. So what you do is you buy one bottle of raw kombucha. I used a GT Synergy one, it was about $4, and that was the last bottle of kombucha that I ever needed to buy. If you don't wanna get it yourself, if you know a friend who has their own kombucha, just ask them for a cup of their raw kombucha, and that will be your starter tea. And you can have something as modest as a clear glass pasta sauce container that you've recycled. You want to wash it really well and then you want to pour it in your kombucha starter tea and you want to give it one or two inches of air, cover it up, secure it, and then set it aside. Give it maybe two or three weeks to form that first little layer. If you want to speed up the process you can put some sugar in there just to get things going a little more quickly. Also if you want to go all out you can buy pH testing strips to test your pH. Kombucha is very acidic. Even though it alkalizes your body, it is a very acidic drink and it is kind of like an apple cider vinegar with a pH of somewhere between 3 and 5. And the reason that's good is that it will keep mold from growing. I remember my first time trying kombucha, I put a sweet tea mix of my green tea and sugar and only a tiny bit of kombucha and I didn't bother checking the strip. I think the ratio was probably three cups of sweet tea to 
only a few tablespoons, maybe a half cup of starter tea, and the pH was normal. It was something very basic, like eight, and I grew mold, and I had to throw out that entire operation. It is possible to grow mold if you don't keep a good pH, but you will know. Don't worry, it's not that dangerous. It's not like you're going to be drinking it without realizing it has mold. It looks like a moldy cheese. You're going to know right away. You can look at pictures of that online too. And look forward to our next video. I will be talking about what exactly the steps you'll take to making your own first SCOBY at home. I'll be making one from my own starter tea. So I'm excited, and if you have any questions, leave them below. I'm really, really into this stuff. I'm happy to answer your questions, and I'm sure there are going to be a bunch of them because it's a really confusing foreign process for a lot of people, but I don't want you to be intimidated, okay? It's very intuitive. Once you're into it, you're just going to second nature. You're not even going to be thinking about it. So thanks for being here.